how do you appear credible when you're posting on social media? So for example, let's say you work with LinkedIn, let's say, I mean, I'm going to go to a, a, a platform where people generally believe that they need to look more credible. So LinkedIn, let's say you're doing LinkedIn and you are trying to reach executives and leaders um, to be their advisor of some kind. How do you, how do you look credible? It's a really good question because I think it depends on what your, what your energy signature strength is. So what I mean by that, some people, they when they put on a suit, suit and tie, their energy signature changes. And that is a, a part of their credibility or brand, right? Others, um, maybe the others have like two PhDs and, you know, they they published papers and all that stuff, and so that is the strength of their story, um, of their background, and that they would put that foot forward whenever there's like as a as a double PhD and <laughs> blah blah blah, yeah. and and yet still others. Okay, I'm going to point to myself now. Don't have a PhD. Um, I never talk about my business degree. Have you noticed that? I actually do. And now I'm doing credibility building here. I actually do have a master's in business. But the reason I never talk about it, even though I'm a business consultant and business coach, is that I really don't feel like my MBA did me any good for what I'm talking about today. I like I I had to learn all this on my own. Like my MBA was sure it helped me to be a little bit more practiced with spreadsheets, but the 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 the, the textbook strategies, I'm like that's ridiculous. For solopreneurs, especially the kind of people I'm working with, so I don't talk about my background. I mean, you know, my educational background. So, so my credibility is essentially, I'll say this: it's my authentic confidence, and I try to display that in my writing and in my videos. So, and it's something, of course, I've developed over the years, um, and it's some something that you can develop too if you want to, because it's basically. Um, it's looking at the successes you have had with, even if some, even if you've had a few clients, look at the clients where you've had the most success and like lean into how powerful you were in those moments, you know? And so I've practiced kind of leaning into those moments, go, I'm damn good. You know, and, and part of also is that I have created a lot of content over the years and I noticed the content that did well I leaned into feeling like oh my gosh people really found this helpful look you know I think I, I have something to say here and so those things make me feel authentically confident and so that's what I okay if you want to use the phrase fake it till you make it I'm going to bring that in it's not everyone's favorite phrase and it's not my favorite either but I think it's useful in that the truth of who you are is nebulous. Are you credible or are you completely insecure or are you completely like the most important person advisor for somebody that they could have? It's all true, right? <laughs> like, like you could lean into your, I could lean into my insecurity or I can lean into my power. Both are completely true. And so that is a practice of leaning into that aspect of ourselves. So we say, you know what? For some people in the world, for some people on LinkedIn, for some people reading my things, I am the right person, the right service provider, advisor, coach, et cetera, for them at this time in their life. So I'm going to lean into that power and I'm going to show up in my, con in my content. And so therefore, even if I don't say my PhDs, even if I look like um, I buy my clothes at Costco, which I do, um, I can still, the energy signature represents power, represents credibility. And also, also, uh, just to, content really does have something to do with this. So this is why I teach the three stages of content. And if you don't know what that is, you can Google it, three stages of content and find my article and read about it. But I appear credible to my people because I have done a good job of moving from stage one to stage two to stage three content. Stage two 
stage one is exploratory. Stage two is taking the best of stage one and then redistributing that on a regular basis. And stage three is taking that into products like publishing books and courses and, and things like that. So I know some of you watching this have don't have a book. You don't have a course that you've created, but you can still, still relatively quickly, you can create stage two content. So if you go to my blog post and read this, stage two can be created within one month. And actually it's not, it's not, that's not fast. That's normal. It's normal for, to get a stage two thing in one month, no matter, basically you, you publish four stage one pieces in a month, which is not hard. It's casual. It's exploratory. It's experimental. You do four of those. And then you look at those four and so which one of those four had the most impact or engagement and you take the best one and you, and you turn it into stage two, which guess what makes you look credible because the stage two content is what gets engagement. And when people see engagement, likes, comments, or whatever, they go, well, this person is obviously credible because look at the social proof. So essentially, you either, to, to summer, summer, sum it up, you either have to lean into the parts of your background that have more obvious credibility to your audience, such as certain degrees or experiences, or a certain brand persona look, okay? Or you just have to create the content and turn into stage two and the proof is there. People see that there's engagement. And of course, if you learn how to distribute the content using LinkedIn ads, for example, or Facebook ads, it gets it to more people, which gets it more social proof and automatically you look more credible. So, uh, and last thing I'll say, of, of course, is it doesn't matter who, whether you have any back, whether you have any training, degrees, books, content, the uh, the greatest credibility that all of us have is our own experience. If you can tell your experience truthfully and practice telling it better and better over time, people go, well, you've been through that. Maybe you can help me. So I hope this is helpful. And I look forward to seeing if you want to comment below with any other tidbits about what seems credible to you. As you look at other people's content, what makes it feel like it's credible to you? Maybe even on LinkedIn or elsewhere. Um, please comment below. It'd be great to get gather some additional ideas. And I'll just say one more thing. Back to the confidence thing. Like The more you practice leaning into the strong parts of your background and your experiences, and therefore um, nurture that authentic confidence within yourself, the more you're going to have ideas for how to be credible in your content and in your presentation. I mean, I can't even tell you what that is because the more you, again, the more you lean in and develop that authentic confidence, that will automatically give you ideas, creativity to go, oh my God, I never thought of, I could frame it this way. Wow, I forgot about that part of my background or that project I did. And so that's, you know, that's what I hope you'll continue practicing. So I look forward to seeing your comments below.